What is up YouTube tool tubers of the world? My name is Brad. Welcome to the workbench. Today we got a special package in and it is a package that you yourself can take advantage of. Fragile. Must be Italian, right? What this is, is I had a few sticker ideas. And, you know, I've kind of really been wanting a, a big toolbox for the shop. And it's just not in the cars right now. You know, we're trying to pay off some bills. We're trying to get out of debt. The last thing I can do is really pull out 500 to even $1,000 for a cheap Harbor Freight toolbox. You know? But I can maybe make a little money on the side from this whole YouTube dealie to maybe help offset some of the cost. And that's what we're looking to do here. We got... The Brad's Workbench sticker. You've probably seen a few channels get it that I traded stickers with. But that's just the channel sticker. The next two are the ones I was really excited about. I thought they were kind of funny to me. And I also thought a lot of my uh, viewer base would like these stickers as well to put on their toolbox, hard hats. Put it on your refrigerator. Bam! I make shit. I think that represents my channel more than any other way I could say it. And... I think a lot of people out there make shit too. I talked to Jeff Parker before this, and he did point out the fact that this could mean that I make shitty things. But when you think about it, that also represents my channel. Now, I didn't want just my uh, my woodworkers and my welders and my fabricator type people. I didn't want to only make a sticker for them, so I got my mechanic crowd covered too. Ba bam! I fix shit. And, you know, I do fix some shit. I don't do it as much on camera. I'm not a master mechanic. You know, I don't feel comfortable giving y'all bad advice like I do on all my other videos. I thought this was perfect. I fix shit. That's it. I think this would be awesome for a mechanic to have at a toolbox at work. If your work doesn't mind you saying the word shit. Now you're asking yourself, how can I get a hold of some of these awesome stickers? I only did a small run of it just to see how they do. So I think I've got maybe 30 of these two and I've got I don't know at least 40 or 50 of the Brad's workbench stickers as much as I would love to just send these out to everybody and have them enjoy them it's just not financially savvy of me to do so but I don't want to overprice them to where people can't get them either or feel bad for paying for a sticker so here's what I'm gonna do Brad's workbench stickers a dollar I make shit sticker two dollars I fix shit sticker two dollars and that way, if you want the whole lot, wow! If you want the whole lot, $5, in and out, over, done with, good to go. I feel really awkward even, even trying to sell something, because by nature, I would usually just give this to people. But I would like to make a little side money for a toolbox. So what we're going to do, guys, is if you want a sticker, I'm not going to go through YouTube or one of them sticker websites or something like this. This is going to be through PayPal. And I'm going to put my PayPal link in the description. And my email is also in the description. If you want a sticker or the whole lot, all you got to do is, if you want just this sticker, you go to the PayPal link, deposit $2, and send me an email. Say, hey Brad, I want the I Fix Shit sticker. I deposited my money under whatever name it is, that way I can verify it. And then leave your address in the email. And I will get it out within two days. Usually probably the same day, but we'll give it two days just in case. Because I am about to go back out to work. But I'm going to take these with me. So this is something I can still do out on the road. If you want the I Fix Shit and I Make Shit sticker, then deposit. Guess what? $4. Send me an email. Tell me your name you deposited under. What stickers you want. And there we go. I mean, I, I think it's pretty simple. You want the whole group? $5. You deposit money, you shoot me an email, I verify, I send them out. It should be pretty easy, right? Simple. So I do want to be clear, these are stickers. They are not magnets. I didn't feel like going the whole magnet route because that would not only increase the price, also kind of limit because some people might not want magnets. They might actually want the sticker. Like if you're going on a hard hat or something, you want the actual sticker, you can't use a magnet. Get you a pair of scissors, go to Walmart, and get you some of these magnetic vent covers, and all you do is stick, Bow! So you guys, 
gotta do is buy these magnetic vent covers from Walmart. Just a two pack of these little white sheets with the refrigerator type flimsy magnet on the back. You stick your sticker on there and then you just cut around it with a pair of scissors and boom, you got a magnet. That's how every magnet on my toolbox is. A fundraiser, we'll call it that. The Brad's Workbench Fundraiser to get him a big boy toolbox one day. <laughs> All right, guys, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button right there. Buy some damn stickers, and I'll holla at you next time. Peace! Hit that like button. Hit that sit. Oh, shit, I'm backwards.